Hi guys, Goldfish Technic here with a review on my, uh, many of you met my stunt devil, uh, Matthew over here. And, um, I want to thank him for letting me use his gun. It's the, uh, it's the DPMS Panther Carbine. It was $170, bought at Big Five Sporting Goods. It's an overall good gun, but for what the price is. But the battery is, uh, surprisingly low voltage. It's 7.2 volts. But it does have a 1500 MA and that MH, and that comes with the gun along with a charger. But be careful with the charger because if you leave it in too long, then it'll blow out your battery, just like any other standard charger. The uh, battery, if I can show you quickly here, it goes right into the stock pretty easily. You just slide that up, and then it comes off. And your battery has got tons of room in there uh, for the cords. But you just slide that in there, and then shove in. The, you just put the cords back in. You can tell I haven't done this in a while, but you just got to put the cords back in, and then you can, should be able to just slide this back on. And there you have it, your battle ready. Comes with a 300 round high capacity magazine. Nice uh, thing. Uh, it comes with a foregrip, which is kind of nice so you don't have to buy one. The sights, uh, it's got a close, it's got a, I don't know if you can see this here, it's got a close, long range, or close range sight that's a lot wider, and then a long range sight, and if you can see it, it moves side to side, like this for your windage. The only, my main complaint about this gun would have to be the hop up, because is the charging handle is okay, and it opens up just fine, but you have to hold it back while you're adjusting the hop, hop up, and that just makes it a lot harder. Because if you're trying to do it while you're out there because your hop up screwed up, you can't just like, you have to pull this open and then twist the knobby and then put it back and then put the thing up and then start shooting again. This can take a while, if you know what I mean. Um, it's a standard click wheel on it. A standard uh, click wheel and the sights are kind of nice. The, my, it also comes with a strap. A very high quality strap with a super soft met plush hand, uh, neck, neck guard. So, it's overall a nice gun. Um, let's get to some shooting tests. Okay, one thing I forgot to mention about this gun is that it is about 325 FPS, but it does have a really good range. Uh, most of you do not understand that FPS does not equal range. It, the uh, range is much decided by your barrel quality, your gear quality, and definitely the barrel length because that controls it and how tight it, the barrel is. Um, so here's a shooting test. If I can have the camera just on there. Um, first is semi semi auto. Mm -hmm. I just wanted to thank uh, Matthew again over here for uh, letting me use his gun for this review. Um, now we're gonna do a full auto test. So unfortunately, I was turning the wheel yeah, myself. Know, Otherwise, I would have been turning it by with someone else. But it did considerable damage. Uh, until next time, it's this is Matthew, Kyle, our cameraman, and Goldfish Technic here.